This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of June 5th, 2017. Yeah, it's weird, and it will continue to be weird. However, this week we do have two very nice and helpful shifts that are somewhat parallel. Two planets that spent a good portion of the spring retrograde and stirring up all kinds of stuff are both not only direct, which they've been for some time, but they are both going home. These would be Mercury, the cosmic messenger, the planet that rules what comes into our head and goes out of our head, I say gab gadgets and getting around, and Venus, the love goddess, the goddess of desire who rules everything we value, relationships, money, creativity, They are both going home on Tuesday. And this is going to shift the atmosphere in some wonderfully comfortable ways. Certain things about how our brains are working, how communication happens, the ease of getting around, and how we interact with each other. All of these things are going to gently flow into their preferred mode of expression. Mercury, communication, getting around, will be in the air, flying here and there, multitasking like crazy, darting here, darting there. I call it short attention span street theater. And Venus going back to Taurus, taking the place that Mercury has occupied in Taurus and continuing to nail down lying on the sofa, on the divan, eating bonbons, having someone bring her what she wants. Mercury in Gemini wants the freedom to flit wherever, at a moment's notice, and maybe even many places at once. Gemini is all about multitasking. Venus in Taurus doesn't care so much for ideas or chatter. She wants things to be proven to her. This is show me the money territory. Prove it. Show me. Sweet nothings won't do it for her. She wants things that she can take to the bank, that sit next to her, that she can touch, taste, feel, experience with the senses. So as of this week, the three inner planets have all shifted signs. Mars, the ruler of our drive, left go in every direction Gemini over the weekend and slid into Cancer, which is extremely feeling-oriented, touchy-feely, taking things personally, dumping your energy into stuff that your heart feels is important. Mercury has taken off into the sign where Mars was, so we've got our minds going a mile a minute, lots of talk, noise level ratcheting up, and Venus is sliding into the sign where Mercury was, giving this show-me-I-want-to-experience-it quality to all of our uh, social interactions, to relationships, to creativity. This isn't staring out into the sunset and daydreaming about inspiration. This is creating something really tangible, preferably something you can make money from. But even if not that, something you can actually put your body into. And against this backdrop, we have the Sagittarius full moon on Friday. Sagittarius is one of the more intellectual signs. It represents what we do with all the information we get, the theories and policies and ideologies, philosophies that we spin from all the information we have. Sagittarius can be adventuresome. It can love the outdoors. It can love humor, be expansive, not want to be fenced in. But Sagittarius can also be extraordinarily jingoistic, my way or the highway, for example. So we have a full moon, which represents a cresting and culmination and harvest of emotions occurring in a highly intellectual sign. 
but it's one that's got some passion in it too. And there's a lot of stuff going on in the full moon chart that makes this not the normal ha 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 good time Charlie going to just yuck it up kind of Sagittarius experience. The moon is moving in on Saturn, the taskmaster of the zodiac. So there may be a sense of really serious weighty matters in the mix or feeling very oppressed by the information that's been flowing around or oppressed by how you're feeling, maybe even feeling depressed. It could also be that you're called upon to act like an adult, to take responsibility for the stuff that's been flying out of your mouth, uh, to commit to your moral compass, your system of ethics. And that's just the beginning. This is an extraordinarily complex lineup. I have quite a bit about it in the forecast that's already up at my site, empowermentunlimited.net. The short suggestion I would make for you is to use whatever crests on Friday and in the days immediately after over the weekend to look at what you've been letting flow through your head, what kinds of beliefs have governed your life, what have you bought into, what is really yours, and take the opportunity to excise stuff that isn't really serving you or making your life any better. And that includes ditching some of the junk food information channels that you have in your life. And one of these may have something to do with politics. A lot of people have been really, really, really caught up in the political news this year, and you may hit a point of wanting to set limits on what you expose yourself to or how much time you allow certain topics to consume of your life and your time and your energy. Homing thought of the week. Does this belong to me? Really? Song of the week. Once in a lifetime by the Talking Heads. And the image of the week is the North Star. You'll find more about all of this in my forecast for June and my forecast for the Sagittarius full moon, both of which are already posted at empowermentunlimited.net, where you can sign up for my mailing list and book a session with me. Talk to you next week.